Well, back here at home, 14 people are now facing federal charges after a two-year investigation into crime, drugs, and weapons here in Indianapolis. It was called Operation Little Dipper. Police want the arrest to really serve as a message to other criminals out there that they are watching. U.S. Attorney Josh Minkler is here with us this morning. Josh, thanks for being with us. Uh, first of all, you announced these charges yesterday. How, in the bigger picture here, how is this going to make the city of Indianapolis safer? Yes, well, our focus is on gun violence. We didn't have a good year last year in the city of Indianapolis on gun violence. Murders, robberies, robberies were up. And so we had to respond to that. And federal law enforcement had to respond to that. And we did this with an operation called Operation Little Dipper, focused on the near north side of Indianapolis. A group of individuals were doing underground sales of guns mm -hmm. and drugs, spreading that in the community, infesting that community with underground sales of guns and we felt that was fueling much of the gun violence in that community so we threw the kitchen sink at them yeah which is uh, so 14 people involved in this you mentioned though other neighborhoods this is happening in obviously and because there are certainly probably more than 14 people involved in something like this you actually went out to California you and a group of others uh, to, to survey what they were doing in areas like Compton in Los Angeles how did seeing how they curb this gun violence and drugs uh, here? How could that help you here in Indy? They took a neighborhood approach out there. Uh, okay. I went out there with the chief of police and members of the Marion County Prosecutor's Office. We went to Compton and Los Angeles, as you mentioned. They took a neighborhood approach to reducing gun violence. We're taking the exact same approach here in Indianapolis, and we think we'll get the same results, which is a large reduction in gun violence. Murders, robberies, non-fatal shootings going down. Mm -hmm. We're doing the exact same thing out here. And you think this is far from over? It is far from over. And as a matter of fact, we are doing this in every neighborhood in Indianapolis. We have focused on the most challenged mm -hmm. neighborhoods, the areas where there are a lot of homicides, where there are a lot of robberies, where there are a lot of non-fatal shootings. And we are putting federal resources in those neighborhoods to react to that with the hopes of reducing those types of crimes. Obviously, the fight far from over. This mm -hmm. took two years in the making, uh, 14 arrests because of it. Thank you very much, Josh, for your time this morning. We appreciate you breaking it down for us. And for your good work on the yeah. streets. We well, appreciate right. that yeah. You're welcome. Much. Thanks for having me.